Last week, I did a video showing you how to upgrade from the Android 12L beta to the newly launched beta program for Android 13. In this video, we use the landing page Google has set up for the Android beta program to opt out of that previous beta and then opt in to the new one that will send us an over the air update that brings us to Android 13. But this week I saw a comment on that video asking how we are able to downgrade from the new Android 13 beta back to the stable version of Android 12. So today I want to walk you through that process. Now if you're wanting to go the manual route, I have previously done a video showing how to downgrade the Google Pixel 6 to an older firmware using the Android Flash tool. I'll link that in the video description below for those who want to go down that path. However, if you use the Android Beta website in order to opt in to the Android 13 Beta, then you're going to want to use that to opt out. So this process will downgrade you from Android 13 to Android 12 on supported Google Pixel phones, and it's really easy to do. However, the first thing you're going to want to do is back up as much of your user data as possible. Google makes it very clear that we are unable to save our personal data when we downgrade from Android 13 beta. So take some time to back up your photos, videos, apps, and games that you can because it will be all erased whenever we complete this downgrade process. Now, when you're ready, we're just going to want to visit the, and the official Android beta website, and I'll link to this in the video description as well. And when we get here, you're going to be asked to log in, and then after that, we can simply scroll down a little bit. Toward the bottom, you should see a Your Eligible Devices section, which we can see I have two devices eligible. This Google Pixel 6 is currently on the Android 13 beta, and in this video, we're going to be downgrading that to Android 12 stable. And we can do that by simply clicking the Opt Out button right here, and you're, then you're going to get a confirmation dialog box saying are you sure and then yes we're going to leave the beta we're going to confirm just tap on ok and then we can close that browser window so after waiting a little bit we're then going to open up the settings application we're going to go all the way down to the system option and then we're going to tap the system update. Now you're likely going to be told that your device is already up to date. And we're just going to tap the check for update button at the bottom to check to see if we are eligible for a new over there update. Now, after you have opted out of the beta, it can take a little bit of time before you get this over the air update notification or even to be eligible for this over the air update after tapping the check button. So just wait a few minutes, wait for the Google servers to update and set everything up. And then when you have a system update waiting like this, then we can tap the download and install button. We're going to resume the update and we're going to go through the process of waiting for our phone to download this system update, to install this over the air update, and then we're going to go through the waiting process of the optimizing apps. So when you get to this part, we're just going to wait patiently and let the Google Pixel phone do the work of downgrading us back to Android 12. So as we reach the end of the progress bar for the installing system update portion of the downgrade process, we're still just waiting patiently 
we're letting the phone download this entire firmware. And then from there, it is going to begin the installation process, which will downgrade us from Android 13 back to Android 12. And you can see we're going to be installing the latest public version of Android 12. And as this wraps up, it's going to transition from the installing part to the optimizing apps part. And right here, it's going to tell us that this may take a while. And if it's anything like the process we went through last time, it could take 30 minutes or an hour or more. So again, we're just going to wait patiently. Thankfully, we can minimize this and use our phone like normal. We can continue using our apps, play games, and message people. But again, we just need to wait until the optimizing part has been completed. So now that the update has finally completed, you can see it has transitioned from that progress bar to a big restart now button at the bottom right. We're just going to go ahead and tap that. Now I have to remember this is basically the phone doing a factory data reset. So during the boot process, Android is going to have to set some things back up. You can see it is erasing everything. So it's just something to keep in mind when waiting for this boot up back into Android that it's going to take a little bit longer than normal to complete. This brings us to the Android activation screen, which we can skip through.
to get to the home screen of our freshly downgraded version to Android 12. As you can see, the process to downgrade from the Android 13 beta to the stable version of Android 12 using the Android beta website is very straightforward and easy to get through. The only negative in the process is the loss of user data. But since you're made aware of this going into the beta, everyone should have a plan to back up their important data.